Hello, my name is George Byrne. I am a business development manager here at Copters, uh, specialising in inspection. Today we are going to be looking at the only internal drone on the market, the Elios 2. Built and designed in Switzerland by Flyability, it is a, the only internal drone solution on the market. It specialises in going into anywhere where you would traditionally send a human being. Obviously to reduce risk, to increase the safety of the, uh, the personnel on board. Um, and to obviously, yeah, to, uh, to make sure that you're not putting a human life in danger when you could potentially send a robot in to do a job. Now, some of these jobs include uh, surveying the area, inspecting certain elements of a, of a shaft, of a sewer, uh, of a boiler, a tank. There is, a, you know, a monumental amount of applications that the Elios 2 is used for. Uh, we're talking from agricultural to pharmaceutical uh, to power generation to nuclear. Uh, offshore marine, uh, just to name some of the few. Now, there has a huge amount of applications, but this comes with um, a, uh, a huge need for the Elios 2, and that is purely because of the safety element to increase uh, time efficiency, uh, where you could potentially be using something like rope access or scaffolding. Now, some of these areas that we're going into are quite sensitive. Uh, we're talking like uh, cement kilns, we're talking ballast tanks, some of these areas where it's really difficult to enter, really difficult to inspect. Um, and all, sometimes all you need is a visual inspection to basically just say, yeah, it's fine, carry on. Uh, now, obviously, we're not trying to take away jobs from people doing scaffolding or rope access. Obviously, there's a huge need for these people still. Uh, but the Elios 2 is a tool designed to make sure that the environment they're going into uh, and what they're inspecting is safe to do so. So let's look at the Elios 2 in a bit more depth. The actual main camera that we see here is on a spring-loaded gimbal. This allows the drone to fly uh, and to, if it does uh, crash or to bump into something, it keeps the camera safe. You've got a 4K camera, which is on 180 degrees of orientation. This basically means that when the drone wants to look up and you uh, use the, the, the remote controller to do so, it can look directly up or it can look directly down, giving you some really good visuals of where you're landing and where you're going into. What you can also see here is a thermal camera. It's a low res thermal, which is really useful for gaining uh, a sense of direction, uh, seeing if there's any hot spots in certain areas, it's good for pipes, good for walls. Um, and uh, yeah, just a general thermal camera, which is easy to swap at, from the visual to the thermal with a click of a button. Moving on to the top part, we have a waterproof seal which allows you to put your SIM cards in and then to also uh, chart, well, to, uh, to take the data off from the, from the drone itself and into your laptop. This is all done with Inspector software which is free with the drone and also Inspector 3.0 which allows you to get slam data mapping to allow you to understand where the drone has been and to find out exactly what you're looking at. One of the great things about the Elios 2 is its collision avoidance. Now the drone's actually made up of seven sensors around the drone. And if you can see that, we've got, you've got four around the drone, which basically include a measurement sensor and a light sensor. Now this allows you to understand how far away objects or the surroundings are from the drone. We also have one on the top, one on the front, and one looking down. So this actually allows you to know exactly how far away you are from everything around you and all of your surroundings, which basically the drone, the mechanics and the, the engineering of it, which has been tested for and, and developed for years now, is basically allowing the drone to be as stable as possible and to give it understanding and readings about what's, what it's going into. So if it's got walls either side, the drone is constantly calculating and constantly doing the math to keep it at those distances that it's trying to, uh, trying to find. Uh, really good for tight environments, really good to up to about 10 meters away from. The drone has a sensor on the front, which is also a measurement tool, which you can actually find the measurement on your screen and lock it into. We call that distance lock. This is really useful for when you want to look at a, uh, a seal in a tank or anything that requires good consistent data. You can lock onto the, the target, uh, actually lock on the, uh, the distance away and then pan around the whole area. And this will keep it at a distance away from the, uh, the actual target, allowing you to have really consistent information directly to the, the SD card for review. 
One of the huge advancements for the Helios 2 is actually its lighting. Now the Helios 1 came out and it was a really good uh, platform at the time. It gave you know a, a position to put, put a robot into an area that is completely dark and illuminated. Now the Helios 2 is actually times the light that that was emitting by five. It's now got 10,000 lumens being illuminated from these sensors and these uh, LEDs around the drone's front. Now, it's not only just a lighting system, you can change the intensity, uh, you can do oblique lighting, so you can line up against a wall uh, and see if there's any sort of, uh, any fractures or deformities within the wall, so you know that there is a, a shadow, and that's what you'll see. Um, it's also got dust proof lighting as well for those areas that you're going into, and bearing in mind some of the places that this has been, humans don't go. Uh, we're talking, you know, nuclear facilities, we're talking coal fire plants, we're talking areas that uh, are going to be very dusty, there's going to be sediment about. Now the, the dusting, uh, the dust lighting uh, allows you to actually penetrate through that and get a really good shot and really good data. Because at the end of the day, data is key. Uh, as long as you can get the drone in and out, it's always going to be recording, so you're always going to get some really fantastic data. This is the Helios 2 battery, it's a LiPo battery. Uh, which got 10 minutes of flight time. Now it might not seem like a lot, but when you're in an internal space, you can't see the drone any longer, 10 minutes actually feels like a lifetime. Especially when you're actually inside inspecting something that is maybe you know a couple of meters away from you, you're capturing a lot of data, a lot of footage, and to bring it back, you'll actually find that you, you sometimes don't even use maybe five or six minutes. Moving on to the controller, as you'll see, it's a, a DJI Lightbridge controller. Uh, works really well. Um, all the controls are very similar to all, all of the famous uh, Mavics or the Phantoms that you will be used to. Um, obviously you've got your return to home button, sadly it doesn't have that as it doesn't have GPS, you know, being in a, a denied GPS environment. But what that will allow you to do is to um, control either manually or with altitude thrust. Uh, and also, the actual home button itself will allow you to lock onto the surrounding areas uh, and to get a measurement from that. Uh, now, using that ability to find out the x-axis, you can actually find out the y-axis, which means using the, using the measurement tool that you have on the front of the drone will allow you to take an approximate dimension and measurement of what you're looking at. So if you're in an area where you need to get an, a, a, you know, an estimate or gra grab a, a measurement of a crack or a seal that you may have found, you can do that with the post-processing software as well. Finally, we've got the, the tablet that the Flyability Helios 2 works on. It's a Samsung tablet. When you receive it from, uh, from ourselves, you'll basically get the training uh, along with the, uh, the actual flight coaching as well. Uh, but this will all be pre-loaded. Um, updates will be you know, regularly available. They are free and included with all of the, uh, the Helios 2 sales that we do. Um, but basically, you have pilots uh, which controls the drone, and then you also have Inspector, which is the post-processing software which you can find on the Flybility website um, or on our website, copters.com. In conclusion, the Helios 2 really is a workhorse in the industrial scene. Um, we see it you know, being used a lot of the time in confined space entry, areas where you can't put a human being, areas where it's dangerous to put these people. Um, and it's really now becoming a tool to uh, not only save lives, but even as an investigative tool to find out what there could be in there in terms of risk, in terms of you know, the elements that could cause harm to a person. To find out more information about the Helios 2, contact us at info at copters.com or you can find us on our website at www.copters.com. Thanks very much for listening. Cheers.